हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर विनीत सहगल आई एम हेड कंसल्टेंट शार्प साइड ग्रुप ऑफ आई हॉस्पिटल्स आई एम अर्लियर कंसल्टेंट इन मेदांता ग्रुप ऑफ हॉस्पिटल्स एंड आई हैव डन माय पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन फ्रॉम आरपी सेंटर ऑफ ऑफथेलमिक साइंसेस फ्रॉम ऑल इंडिया इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मेडिकल साइंसेस सो फ्रेंड्स इफ द ऑफथेलमोलॉजी इज योर ड्रीम ब्रांच द क्वेश्चन यू वुड आस्क मी सर फ्रॉम वेयर वी कैन डू द ऑफथेलमोलॉजी Uh, either ms or a dnb if we don't get into the aims so friends nothing to get disheartened there are many good institutes across the country many good eye hospitals from where you can pursue your post graduation some eye hospitals like elvin prasad eye institute shankara netralay narayana netralay regional institute of ophthalmology gurunanak eye center they provide a good training at your ms or dnb level remember friends there is not much difference between the dnb and ms the pass percentage in dnb is quite okay if you are a good student and if you have done your work properly in 3 years definitely there won't be much problem to pass your dnb exam also friends i want to tell you to how to approach your residency in first year of residency don't go too much into the surgical don't think that you would get 100 surgeries in a week don't think that you have to be given independent opportunity to see and treat the patients in first year of residency just see and observe just try to learn the clinical things because in under graduation i am very sure that your concepts in ophthalmology must not be very strong so try to understand each and every part of the eye try to understand cornea try to understand glaucoma try to understand retina and try to understand squint so your academic part or your basics should be correct till you finish your first year also try to do a few basic things in the surgery like how to approach a patient how to make sutures how to release the sutures and how to start the surgery in second year of your residency your approach should be how to do the surgeries how to assist the surgeon and whenever you are do a surgery get a senior with you who can train you who can guide you how to do the surgery it is important to know how to do a surgery then just doing surgery blindly in third year of your residency you have to concentrate on many things because it is the most important part here you have to try to do the independent surgeries just don't only think about the cataract there are many sub specialties which are getting into the big way in private setup and out of them the retina is the most important so try to concentrate on other sub specialties besides cataract try to write some papers in national journals and if possible if with your guide you are doing the thesis if possible then go for the international journals also in the end of your residency you must have at least one index journal in a publication and a few articles in your national journals now the question comes that what to do after the residency is over so after your ms is over or your dnb is over i recommend don't go into the private practice straight away try to do some senior residency in hospitals like aims gurunanak eye center regional institute of ophthalmology or try to do fellowships in good institutes like elvin prasad eye institute shankara netralay narayana netralay and few others after doing your fellowships you have good job opportunities throughout the country in various eye hospitals and you get good package and when you do the senior residency try to have an academic set of mind till your senior residency is over you should be over with around 3 to 4 index journal publications and you should be invited as a faculty in at least a national conference and don't lose your heart if you have good approach then the sky is the limit thank you